Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to create a welcome pop-up and capture your first-time visitors' emails using Wisepops. So, from your Wisepops dashboard, start by creating a new campaign using our campaign assistant. Basically, the campaign assistant will help you save time and effort as it will suggest strategies based on your goals and generate pre-configured templates for you. So, my main goal here is to grow my audience, so I'm going to select the first block on the screen. Then if you want to offer a discount to your new subscribers, I'd suggest selecting the coupon strategy. Now, based on your style preferences, you can pick one of our ready-to-use templates. Remember that for pop-ups, we highly suggest creating one campaign for desktops and tablets and one separate campaign for mobile devices. And as you can see on the screen, we have templates for both. From the campaign builder, you can start by editing the template design so it matches the look and feel of your website and adjust the wording. Don't overthink the creative side of things. The first welcome pop-up doesn't have to be perfect. You can always go back later and make it better. The only advice I could give you here is to include clear, compelling content in your pop-up and to incorporate an appealing offer to incentivize new signups. For example, a gift, a discount, or free shipping on the first order are great incentives. Your call to action should also be clear and engaging and have an action word in it. Let's say my welcome offer is a coupon code for free shipping on the first order, then I would go for a CTA like unlock free shipping or reveal code now. Now to access the sign up form settings, you have to click on your sign up block from the pop-up builder and the menu will appear on the left. If you want to collect more information on subscribers, it's possible, just click on the plus icon and feel free to add more fields or hidden fields. I would also recommend adding a consent checkbox from the disclaimer tab to meet GDPR requirements. Now, in order to push my leads to my email service provider or ESP each time the form gets submitted, I'm going to need to activate the integration between Wisepops and my ESP. To do that, click on the Sync tab and select your solution from the list. I'm going to choose Clavio for this demonstration. The first time you connect Wisepops to your ESP, most of the time you'll need to enter an API key. In Clavio, to find your API key, click the account drop-down in the upper right, select Account, click Settings, then API Keys, and click Create API Key. Copy it and then go back to Wisepops. In the pop-up window, paste your API key and click Submit. Once you've successfully activated the integration, you'll be able to choose a destination list for your new subscribers. All right, now that the integration is set up, your new subscribers will automatically be added to the list you specified in the Sync tab. In the Thank You tab, I can also edit and customize the confirmation message that's going to be displayed as soon as a visitor signs up. This is where I'm going to add the discount code that I pre-configured in my coupon system. When your pop-up form is ready, you can think of adding a tab. I'd suggest activating it after the pop-up is closed so it can remain on the screen if the pop-up has been closed. It will basically give your visitors a second chance to open your pop-up and sign up. This option is great for optimizing your sign-up rates. In the Display Scenario tab, you'll be able to define your campaign triggers, frequency and targeting settings. Triggers lets you choose the event that will cause the pop-up to appear. For a welcome pop-up, I would recommend going for the on-landing trigger and add a two-page use delay. By adding a delay, I'm making sure that the pop-up will only show after people visit their third page. It's a best practice to give people a reasonable amount of time to check out my website content before asking them anything, especially as we're targeting new visitors. Then carefully configure the display frequency. You don't want your campaign firing over and over again on your site. Page targeting now lets you choose which page on your website you want your campaign to appear on or not. You could select all pages or include or exclude specific URLs or group of URLs. In the Audience tab, you can further refine your targeting. For my welcome pop-up, I want to target first-time visitors, so I'll go ahead and select new visitors. 
You could also choose to display your campaign to visitors who've been on your website less than three times if you want to display this offer again within that time frame. I'm also going to exclude any traffic coming from my email campaigns using a UTM parameter condition. There's nothing more annoying than clicking on an email and having a pop-up asking for my email right when I land on the site. In the behavior section, you can exclude visitors who have signed up through another WiseFobs campaign. Let's say I've set up another campaign collecting emails in the past or running at the same time. There's no need to display this campaign for visitors who've already left their emails. To preserve user experience, you can also set a maximum number of pop-ups a visitor can see during one session. As I want to be super mindful about user experience, I'm going to set that limit at 1. In the e-commerce or custom properties tab, you can add an extra condition to exclude logged in visitors from seeing your campaign. With the Shopify integration, this property comes out of the box, but if you're on another platform, you can also set that up with the help of a developer. When you're done designing your campaign, you can preview it to see how it looks using the preview option. If you're happy, then go ahead and publish your campaign. I'm going to test it on my actual website by matching the display scenario conditions we've just configured. To do that, I'm going to open a private navigation session to clear all cookies, visit two pages, and normally my pop-up should appear on the third page. There we go. Here is my pop-up. Now I'm going to subscribe and make sure the integration works properly. Note that Clavio uses the double opt-in mechanism by default, meaning that the visitors who subscribe to your list are likely receiving an, a confirmation link by email before joining your list. So in Clavio, you will only see the people who confirm their subscription by clicking on that link. So I'm going to confirm this and see what happens. So in Clavio, I can see that my test record has now been successfully added to the list. Now going back to my WisePops dashboard, I'm able to see how my pop-up performs with the number of displays, clicks, click-through rate, and emails collected. To give you an idea, 5% is a good CTR for a welcome pop-up, so you can aim for that. Finally, I would highly recommend setting up a welcome series with your email marketing tool. Basically, a welcome series is a sequence of emails sent directly after someone signs up to hear from your brand. It's a critical moment in your customer journey because it's your opportunity to introduce new interested prospects to your business and product offering. For example, after someone has signed up through the welcome pop-up, you could immediately send an email to thank your new subscriber, remind them about their coupon code, and take the opportunity to introduce your brand. That's it for today. You're now ready to launch your first welcome pop-up and please let me know how it goes in the comment section. Thank you for watching and have a good one.